okay, so um, yeah, leaving the house was quite sad for me, and uh, you know, it's also a good thing. I'm out here now, and I have to take you know take advantage of the uh, the whole uh, opportunity given. Now, my fans, I saw a lot of people you know tearing up and being really sad, which got to me as well. So you know, I've been trying my best to express uh, love as they gave in return, and see if uh, that would help matters. But uh, things have been going okay. You know, the little bad vibes from the the fans that I don't like and the ones that I like, but the respect to the fans that actually um, encouraged and showed love, you guys overshadowed the bad vibes, which I really appreciate. And that's been, you know, making things positive for me. So it's been, it's been good. Thank you. Um, when I came out, I came out to, what I, what I came out to wasn't what I expected to come out and see, but it happened. So at first I felt, really bad like I, I almost let it get to me but I realized like why would I let it get to me if it's not what happened why would I let people's opinion about me over what did not happen get to me so I just actually started overlooking it to a point that I actually started reading the hateful comments and it was funny to me like my friend was asking me if I'm sane for laughing at those comments but I mean it is what it is it wasn't what happened but I'm happy that regardless of what's going on opportunities are already coming up there are actually people that are going all out and rooting for me so at the end of the day the main thing is just to focus on the positive aspect like Joe said and yeah. just the negative ones at the end of the day will just phase out okay talking about that um, forgetting about negative ones how has the reception been from as a positive vibes when you get into the house it's been great to be honest with you it has been overwhelming like at first I was a little bit um, shy that oh maybe people are now looking at me like this is what I actually did until I realized that no these people actually don't look at me that way like you just see people who genuinely rush up to hug you or say hi or they want to take a picture like you open Instagram and there are thousands of comments like positive comments it's been great to be honest okay. so at this point to me that uh, episode never happened I was the first person to receive um, Joe's sarcasm. Yeah. It shocked me. <laughs> but I just looked at the guy's mustache. I'm like, why, do, why would I <laughs> take somebody with a curly mustache serious? So, I mean, that moment I just felt like, mm, I beg, this one probably came in with, to use me and shine. So, if you noticed, after, like, after that episode, I just walked away. Until I realized that, okay, this is actually who Joe is. So, he's a very cool person. Like, our beds, like, they were... You, we slept here's my bed yeah well, we are thinking bed. about it so it's not pass wrong message okay. yeah you know but there was a small <laughs> distance like like we were bed neighbors we we're not bed mates we are bed neighbors <laughs> so i mean i really got to understand that joe is a cool person and Aww. to a point that the thing just oh my God. i found it funny it wasn't even a, a problem to <laughs> me anymore <laughs> so that's just the thing just the same thing with the whole narrative you have to get to know somebody before you pass your judgment towards yeah. them Yeah, I, I, it's not like I thought about it. I knew I was a threat. And um, these guys, <clears throat> they made a family already. You know, there's their relationships, their, their bonds, there's the cliques and whatnot. Every other person that was freshly put into the house as an housemate, they are outside. We're all outsiders. So that is, on the first note, a threat already. For an outsider just coming in and trying to, you know, bond. Who do you think you are? So then the guys will be wondering, what is this guy capable of? So that is a threat to their, you know, stay or their person because they don't know what I'm coming in there, you know, what I'm capable of. Major highlights were the, um, the task presentations. Okay. Like the whole title was challenging. It wasn't, it was out of my comfort zone. It wasn't something I would do on a normal day. Like, I, I know I used to say, um, I don't think I can act. Because they're, but getting into the house and finding out that you have to do a presentation and acting is involved. So you have to go beyond your comfort zone and discover the talent, if there is any, yeah. that is there. So there were a lot of things that I learned along the way. I also um, enjoy the Saturday parties. <laughs> and in fact, but majorly the the... Thursday task presentations were my major highlights. I enjoyed every piece of them. Joe. 
I actually enjoyed sitting outside the garden looking at the massive painting at the back. That was one thing. And it's, it's you know, familiar um, space. You know, you sit down. Very hard times, you have the silence, yeah? But that was, that was one major thing I experienced every single day. The fact that I could step out of there and look at a 20 by, I think, 30 feet uh, tall um, rainforest painting. It was, it was amazing. Now, every time that I had to create something in a team, and there was this thing that we have to do, and it has to do with creativity. That was, that was for me. It doesn't matter the type of you know, creativity. It was just that the fact that it was for me to put an input to the team's uh, work. And um, I always spend my time when there is no tasks, because everyone most times will just go to bed and sleep, or talk about this or that, or just about how you know, the emotions are working. I preferred uh, creating stuff, so I spent my time with the duct tapes that came in to the backing up stuff and uh, our gift bags to build this or that. Uh, I think, I, yeah, I made a plane for Christopia. Yeah. <laughs> then, you know, trying to boost up the tin, a chopper. So <laughs> things like that. And when we did the um, talent show, I, I, was, I, I had to use the gift bags to make like a canvas to paint on with uh, uh, soy sauce and coffee, Pepsi. Um, make the coat of arm and you know, the whole idea was the entire presentation was going to blend in with Nigerian uh, uh, theme so that was that was one of the best uh, moments and when I I teased some people it was yeah. really satisfying to see some so to piss people off. No, I didn't say piss people off but you know tease them okay. it was exciting like the way they react to it <laughs> so tell us about this little drama thing there was really no little drama. Like you said, if you, if you had watched me on stage when I came out, when they played that particular scene, I mm -hmm. laughed. I did not even know what was coming to me. I was laughing to myself. I did not even know that the people were not laughing with me. Until I looked at the crowd and I could see the faces were not welcoming at all. And Ebuka now started asking me about Ludo. I'm like, why is Ebuka asking me about Ludo? You know, sisters are so close for house. I act, I dance. <laughs> You're asking me about <laughs> but it wasn't what happened and I'm happy that um, people are gradually understanding that okay yeah this really wasn't what happened because we were, we were all playing the game together and it was just the moment of me being pissed off at Cindy for telling Venita what to play and making me lose the game that was just that moment because Venita was the new one in the game me, me, and, Mercy, me and Mercy wanted to play before um, Venita and Cindy joined us then Mercy left, Venita, and Cindy left, but she still sat to watch what was going on between me and Venita. And then when I was just about to um, win my game, she now told Venita what to play. So that thing now actually made me pissed off. So when Venita left with Mercy, it was just me and Cindy. Cindy was about to leave, then I arranged the games again and started playing on my own. So she sat, she sat back on the bed and said that she wanted to play with me. I said, no, Cindy, I don't want to play with you because at that moment I was still pissed off about the incident. So she said she wanted to play with me and I said, no, Cindy, you can't play with me. Then she was like, ah, why won't she play with me? I said, because me, I don't want to play with you. Then the part that people didn't see, they also didn't see the part where Cindy was saying she would scatter the, the Ludo board if I don't play with her. And I said, okay, scatter the, the Ludo board, but me, I won't play with you. And she's saying that she wanted to scatter the Ludo board now made me more pissed off. Because why would you say you want to scatter the Ludo board? Because I said I don't want to play with you. Then after that, she got up and she was like, oh yeah, play, play, finish. And then she now left. So the scene that was portrayed was the scene of, like, NK was playing Ludo on her own. Then Cindy, the innocent girl, now walked in and said, hi, NK, let me play with you. Then NK, the mean girl, said, no, Cindy, you can't play with me because I'm too big and you're too small. That was what people saw. So I'm like, where is this whole thing coming from? They said NK rolled her eyes at Cindy because Cindy hugged her. When Big Brother was telling us congratulations and then said but, I'm like, oh my God, which one is congratulations and but? You people don't even know how, how much that voice affects us in that house. You people hear the censored, watered voice of Big. <laughs> it is, it is a, the voice is something. Like you hear it, you're like, oh, it, it, it just moves you. So you hear congratulations and then Biggie says but, ha, 
your spirit goes from a hundred to a zero. It was just you understand the biggest voice now. You can <laughs> move forward. <laughs> <laughs> it was just unfortunate that it was the moment that he said yeah. that I was hugging him. But every other time, there was absolutely nothing wrong. Me and Cindy have always been cool. Very, very. I was, I was not a third party. I was, well, okay, in my own view, inside the house. I was just a spice. Okay. So I would... <laughs> so I know that um, whatever is done, it, any the, with Mercy and uh, E.K., whatever is done to her whatsoever, whatever she experiences, she tells E.K., quite all right. And, you know, starting from the ground, all thing is, you know, my concern is in between these two lovebirds, what can actually, you know, and that's, the, I'm, I'm there for my reasons, so let's spice it up a little bit and see how far. You said tea is spice, spice is like to scatter. Tea no, 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 like no. sell sell gentle right. spices, spice, it's just okay. a little bit of spice. <laughs> so yeah, that, that is it. Um, I, I had uh, no personal intentions, okay. so it was the game and that was, that was all. An exhibition it was already almost the time for it before I go into the house so that's one of the first things I'm going to be doing to run the art exhibition um, five senses is actually the uh, company name for that particular thing where you know se separate touches everyone you see that you know go to a, an art gallery you're going to be seeing or an exhibition you see paintings and all so we're having everything with the five senses the smell sense of touch taste and all that. Everything is going to be done in a, the most creative manner possible. So an exhibition like that is going to be happening. Uh, there are a couple of uh, things I want to do with the, uh, hopefully, the federal government and Abuja, in reference to exposing more creative creativity in the city itself. Okay. Where, you know the way Lagos is, Lagos is beautiful, colors and everything. I don't see the reason why Abuja shouldn't have the same. So I'm going to make effort to make that happen. And if it does, perfect. Uh, however it can be done, I will try my best. And also my graffiti, I do graffiti, I do, I build props. I do set designs, set and stage designs. So obviously with what I was doing before, now it's just going to be bigger. You know, like I would expand. I have the platform thanks to Big Brother and I take advantage of that. My major um, plan is to expand my fashion business, major mostly into wedding dresses. Okay. Finish my book. Oh, you uh, have a book? Yes. Um, I was working on my book before okay. Biggie happened. Biography also. Can't you feel like one out of my book? My book. I beg. <laughs> Fiction, then, what kind of book? You read it. Oh, okay, Ready? cool. Yeah, uh, I think this is what I'll be saying. I'm going to keep saying this to, uh, apart from thanking you guys and appreciating the efforts that was put into play for me, uh, I've seen videos of people crying, I've seen videos of people hating and all, all accepted and uh, I really don't want you guys to feel as bad as I feel already because it's going to you know, worsen the whole uh, feeling. I really appreciate the efforts, thank you guys so much and to um, everyone, every single person, remain being who you are. Words are going to come from people, your best friends, your family and could you know change things up just retain that person you already are and uh, for the creatives do not think outside the box think like there is no box whatsoever Watch, i would even forget what i was to say <laughs> just tell but them i want to say copy and paste thank you honestly when i came out I, I found it hard to say fans because the hate i came out to was too much i was like which we are the fans but I've seen so many people that are supporting me and I love every bit of support I've gotten so far. Like people have been wearing, buying the clothes I wear. Let me tell you how actually, how good it's been. So thank you guys for supporting me and supporting my brand, the NK Clothing. Of course, there'll be more to come. So I really just want to appreciate everybody. And like Joe said, just stay true to yourself. I know that it may sound cliche, but if you're true to yourself and you know yourself and you love yourself enough, Trust me, when people say certain things, it cannot move you. You will stand and you will stand tall. Mm. So, yeah, that's all I want to say. So, thank you guys and thank you for the opportunity. And also, thank you to Big Brother Niger, Multi Choice, and every single person that has given me the opportunity to sit down on this red chair and talk. <laughs>